Hey there, it's Boots Owen here. This is a Solace inverter. I'll get a model number in a bit. I'm just giving it a clean up. I bought it in an auction a couple of weeks, two, three weeks ago. I bought five of them in an auction, all separate lots. I left a load of absentee bids of about 20 quid a piece or 25 or something. And uh, fortunately, unfortunately, I won like five out of seven auctions which is good and bad. I really only needed one or two of these, uh, but they were 20 quid each. So on average, 20 quid. I bought five for about 100 quid plus fees. That's like 116 quid or something like that. No great money. Not if they work. So far, two of them worked, which really is half the battle because there isn't much to it after they work. One, oh dear, it's all soapy. One had a Dodge fuse, and once I replaced the fuse with a standard household 13 amp, it fired up. The glue there from the auction sticker, and snot's all over it, but hey ho. It has a weird plug on the base, I'll show you in a minute. And so. So one of my jobs, oh there it is, you can see it, it has this weird plug, it's got a name, I can't remember what it is, but uh, it's no good to me, so I need to put a gland on there, and uh, gland, what's in here, data or something, Tom. so I need to put a gland on a bit of cable, 13 amp something, just to bring it back to the mains so that I can test it, and it's got two DCs in down here, I'll only need one of them, I've got a string of five panels, couple of hundred um, volts should fire it up oh it's got a fuse hole here has it we'll have a look in there right um i'll open the back and we'll get into it so it's a model sol solace 3.6 k dash 2 g so it's a 3600 watt generator unit you can't let me in i've taken out all the screws it's coming off okay might be earthed to the back You're meant to take the front off, really. Yeah, and lie it down. Uh, heavy. All right, you can't see this. This should be attached to the wall then. I have to flip this over so we without knackering it. Oh, there's the screws falling down. So all the weights on the back. I should have taken it off. The other way around. Da 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 da. Right, so there's two cables coming in, two DCs to here, two DCs to here, so there's a set of DCs up that way. What's V men? V startup's 120, so I should be able to fire it up if it's working. Big toroidal transformers up on the top. What can you see on this camera? Big toroidal transformers up here, capacitors, which if I touch I could die because they're electric. Uh, they've been off probably for years, so I'm not gonna, not gonna stress over that. That hole there that I was poking at has nothing in it. And I see any fuses in here? Not yet. Those um, not capacitors, hard. I can't remember what they're even called, but they're fitted so you can remove them, which is kind of neat. Oh, it's a board on a board. What's underneath? Don't know. It's got a battery in there, so there's a computer in there somewhere as well. What am I going to do? i got to get that gland off the bottom and then start messing around. Put a strip connector in it, probably, and just a bit of cable and a gland. Right. I need to get this guy off here. Let's do that. I'm sitting up in a washing machine because my workbench is covered in other stuff. That's easy. That's it. might be M25 or something like that. Thread. Gland. There we go. That's what I need to mess around with. Maybe there's some kind of an apparatus you can get to hold these in place, but I don't like it dangling on that ribbon. It's way too loose on that. The wrong size, that's why it's too loose, of course. It's 
so I'm not going to get a gland for it today. That's that. So this is just for testing. I'm not going to run. We'll probably run a kilowatt max through it, which is adequate. Let's see what it says on it. Basic ordinary cord. Doesn't say what size it is. Japan. Doesn't look like that big. So that's that. Um, let's put a knot in it. No, let's bring it through and then put a knot in it. This is when I get myself in a knot, figuring out what I'm at here. Right. Bring it through. Put a big knot in it as a res reliever. Stop it. Um, stop it pulling out of the hole. Although I don't know if that will stop it. Not that big. Of course, by not using the gland, there's no IP rating. That's what it is. If there isn't one, there isn't one. Maybe the IP rating is XX. 2015, it says on the thing, that makes it seven years old, which is relatively fresh, but it's a second gen. I love these when you open them up. They always, they're always pretty clean inside. Right, um, that's not gonna hit off anything, I hope. And uh, good luck. Put it back together. I don't really get how you're meant to do it because you can't take the screws off without taking them off the wall. So no further forwards or backwards doing it. So when you're putting the screws back in, you have to put them all in loose so that you can line them all up. Don't do what Donny Don't does, like me, and uh, try and force one of them in, and then it rings off the nut behind, which means I'm going to really struggle to open that now. I've got to figure out some way of mounting this, and you'd also like to see that notice plate, or whatever you call it. All messed up. Solace inverters, made in China, Jin Long, model Solace 3.6K-2G, 4200 watt max, 600 volt DC max, 10 amps. DC side, 120 volts DC, 100 to 500 volts MPPT, uh, 230 volts 50 hertz on this side, on the AC side, 300, 600 watts, 16 amps. Power factor of 1, temperature minus 25 to 60, which is a big old range, IP65, not anymore, da 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 da, there you go, G83 slash 2 is what pertains to the UK, don't know what Ireland does on, EN maybe. Or maybe it's IEC. No, it won't be IEC. Right. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. I need to find a way to hang it on the wall in my little shed. Wedge it between two pieces of timber or something like that. Clamp it on that way. I'll, I'll have a go and to see, see what I come back with. I've got it in, in a shed. There's limited space here, but I've just put a 3 by 2 screwed to this door. A screw in there. And then this hangs on that screw. And then I put another screw into this side. Into, into that 3 by 2 one screw pushed it up to take a bit of weight and then put two screws into that to hold it up and it's um, pretty solid, they're tiny screws. <laughs> so let's see what we can do. I'm going to struggle to have you seeing what's going on here, but we'll try and get a bit of light, a bit of, uh, bit of stuff out of the way and a bit of a look at it. A bit of a talk about what's going on. This is my ABB inverter. It's been running for seven or eight months solid. It's got nine panels coming in here. This is just tucked in out of the way. It's got five panels coming in here. In theory, it could run both, but I haven't configured it to do that. I've just been using these cables as a test and they're long enough to reach over here. And I've got a plug on an extension cord, a socket on an extension cord that I can plug this into. So I will do that in due course. Let's get a bit of uh, camera on this solace. So I'll tuck these cables in here, um, one and two. Right, DC's off. So you turn the DC on first and then the main, no, is that right? I don't know, there's a way about these things. Which one do you put on first? Isolate AC and DC. So turn on DC and AC. Snap, right. It's as live as it's gonna get. Ooh, it's on, right, it's got power. Can we see this? It uh, 
as the right date, which means the battery's right. It's about an hour later in the evening. Come on, zoom in there. Zero watts, why would that be? There's no alarm. Gener it says generating. Okay, another relay. Generator generating's a winner. Oh, there's an alarm. OV bus. OV bus. OV bus. The alarm's gone, it's initializing again. Wonder what's going on here then. Let's just sleep it out. Well, it's plainly not generating if it says zero, but it is flashing for operation and the relays are doing it. It's it's not it's not it's not wrong yet. You can see that a bit better there. Okay, escape. Escape. Down. OV bus, OV bus, OV bus, OV bus. Enter. Information. Settings. Select. Time address. Restore settings. Set time. Set address. Escape. Information. Enter. Uh, 175 volts. And nothing on DC. So it's getting the voltage in. What did it say? Near no amps, no current. What does that mean? I mean, let's turn the DC off. It should die soon. There it is. Right. I'll disconnect these and move them over to the other side. So AC. AC on, DC on, power, Jin Long. It's done a lot of work, this 26,000. Now it should initialize, I'm guessing. Like, you know, do something to wake up. It says initializing there. Three volts. There's nothing on one side, and it's getting should get 174 on the other side. No amps. That's the so what's OV bus 233. Weird. Grids coming in. Right, I'll have a look what OV bus means then. So it's OV bus, that's apparently an internal fault that the customer can't repair, and I'm not the customer, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, it says the relays, the power board, or the connection between, the, between one board and another, basically, internally, might not be right. I could have a look at that. I'm not gonna do it now, because it's getting late. But that might be one for Andy. Um, it's a strange one. I can hear the relays contacting inside. And we're getting the voltage is coming in 175, which is right. So it knows it knows what's going on. I don't know why it's saying 234. Oh, it's AC, of course. Yeah, right. That is right. Um, okay, I have two more inverters to test. I've tested the Sag and the Solar River. I think the Solar River was the one with the fuse, and the Sag just worked, and the Sag is now working with the other panels. Yeah, okay. I'm going to put this one to bed for now. And I've got two um, Solar Edge, which I was told I can't test, but that doesn't mean I can't try to test them. OV Bus, any ideas? Let me know in the comments below, please. Questions or comments, leave them below. Thanks for watching. See you later.